down here and uh, uh, staring at a lovely view it's i just can't get enough of this beauty you know it looks like <laughs> i'm in the middle of the jungle it's so beautiful especially when it's raining both my kids akil and malvika they were craving for lebanese food so for that i need all the ingredients like hummus i need tahini falafel i need greens for salad i need a special english cucumber so i'm going to nature's basket to buy all the ingredients this part of mumbai the east side it's so beautiful look at the trees and plants they so they look so green after the rain uh, because rain water drops takes the dust away so it looks nice and clean and luscious and you can see the water behind it looks like uh, i'm in somewhere in uh, uh, hawaii <laughs> I reach at my destination nature's basket Look at that from where do I begin <laughs> Let's start from Thai chili this is for this is our bird's eye for Thai curry and this is for salad or regular leaves and the spring onions for hummus and salads Look at this so fresh coriander leaves and English cucumber for salad broccoli for Thai curry or stir fry and lots of lemon oil <laughs> lemon for arabic food uh, for hummus and falafel and salad we use lots of you know this lime juice are done with the nature's basket and now I'm going to vegetable vendors where I can buy drumstick and carrots and raw mango and other stuff for the Indian uh, dishes now let's start cooking let's make falafel wash rinse and soak chickpeas for overnight or at least for 12 hours until they triple the size like this and wash uh, parsley green onions and garlic roughly chop garlic green onions green chilies coriander leaves and parsley and transfer to a food processor or grinder along with chickpeas i'm going to do it in a two batches and uh, pulse until the mixture is chopped small the mixture uh, should uh, resemble like wet sand do not add any water open the lid and scrape from the side and blend again to get the perfect consistency like this transfer to a bowl add salt cumin powder lime juice mix roasted sesame seeds mix well and refrigerate for 30 minutes before frying falafel, add baking soda. This makes falafel tender, airy, crispy, and light. Take a small portion of the dough to your palm, roll into ball, and press with your finger and flatten them slightly like this. Refrigerate for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, heat oil in a deep kadai and uh, drop falafel into the oil and do not disturb them for two minutes until they become slightly firm cook them on one side until golden brown then turn them to get even color on the other side as well uh, do not overcrowd the pan 
Once they are done, carefully remove from the pan to a paper towel. Falafel is best eaten straight away, hot. Let's make sour garlic dipping sauce for falafel. Here I have yogurt, mayonnaise, garlic paste, pepper, salt, lime juice, mix well. Leave it in the fridge to chill. Enjoy falafel with sour garlic dipping sauce. You must try this, delicious. Let's make hummus. Here I have boiled chickpeas. I'm gonna to add to a grinder along with tahini. Tahini is a rich nutty, slightly bitter paste made from roasted sesame seeds. garlic paste, salt, olive oil, lime juice. Grind to a smooth paste. If it is too thick, add very little uh, chickpeas cooked water to help continue to smooth the hummus even more creamier like this. Transfer to a mixing bowl, then adjust like lime and olive oil and salt and everything and uh, refrigerate for 30 minutes. Spread in a serving bowl, add generous amount of uh, olive oil. Add few chickpeas to the middle and olive oil on the side and sumac spice and some parsley. Enjoy this creamy, lemony, satisfying and packed with plant-based protein with kabos. I carried kabos all the way from Mangalore. We're going to enjoy with this kabos. Let's make tabole, Lebanese salad. Finely diced English cucumber, lettuce, green onions, parsley, tomatoes, and pomegranate. I add to a bowl, salad dressing. Here I have olive oil, honey, pepper, salt, and generous amount of lime. You have to whisk them properly and uh, drizzle this uh, dressing over the salad. We have to add one more ingredient, that's the burger wheat. I don't have this at home right now, so I'm not showing uh, in this video. The burger wheat, you have to cook according to the package instruction add to this salad. So this Thabole Arabic Lebanese salad is ready to enjoy. You can have with hummus, falafel, and uh, shawarma chicken. I will show you how to make shawarma chicken make Lebanese chicken shawarma here I have boneless chicken uh, cut from from the middle and uh, cut into lengthwise like this we don't want uh, thick pieces easier to cook and you have to wash them thoroughly and dry completely because we have to marinate with uh, marinate this for at least for 30 minutes with the ingredients here I have paprika garlic mixed herbs cumin powder, salt, and black pepper. Add lime juice. Mix. We have to marinate this for 30 minutes. Let's keep in the refrigerator. After marinating for 30 minutes, remove the marinated chicken, heat oil in a pan or a grill, add chicken pieces to the hot pan. And place oregano and rosemary on top. It gives amazing flavor. This is totally op optional. And cover the lid and cook for five minutes over medium heat. Let it cook in its own juice. 
and open the lid and continue to cook until golden brown and cooked all the way through like this enjoy this uh, lebanese shawarma with hummus saad dipping sauce tabole and kabobs lebanese feast at akika here i have hummus saw garlic dipping sauce tabole shawarma chicken falafel and kabobs Lebanese food. Walla. <laughs> Walla. Habibi. Habibi. Come to Maroon. Come to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like this recipe guys. Love you and God bless you and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel. Ma salama.